Hello everyone, this is Brian Judd, and I'll be talking to you today about how to get on TV and radio shows. I've had a lot of experience doing that. I have written actually several books about how to get on and perform on TV and radio shows. And I mentioned this fact about seven job search books because I'll be using a lot of those examples as we go through here. But I have experience as a media trainer. I did this uh, this narrator and producer of the video show You're on the Air. The, uh, I'm the host of the television show The Book Authority. I have been a co-host of a radio show. and I've been a guest on over 1,200 other shows. So I have some good experience I'm looking to, to share with you today. And that's my objective, to help you get on and, and perform on more TV. Well, today we'll talk about getting on more TV shows and radio shows. So what to expect from today's tutorial? Well, I talk about how to get on, but in, I'll talk about it in two separate sections. The first is the preparation about what to do before you actually start contacting the producers, and then how to contact them, what to do, and, and what to send them, and how to call them, how to email them, whatever the, uh, the objective may be. So I know that some of you are not experienced in, in doing this, so it may be a little bit basic, but it'll also be a, a good reminder for some of those who have been through it before, and how to uh, may, may pick up some new tips and new hints. So let's look at that, and then this and we'll get started. I want to start out, first of all, looking at somewhat of an overview of what the uh, your, your customer looks like at the store. They'll pick up your book off the shelf, and, and they're in a quandary. Do I buy it or, or not? You know, I've never heard of the author. I, I've never heard of the title. How is this better than others? Uh, is it worth this much money? I've only got $20 left. And, and just, you know, what is, what is the author's credibility? And I've never heard my friends mention it. So what your objective in in getting on the air is to minimize all these questions or answer all these questions, certainly before they come up. And when the people go there, they see your book and say, yeah, I remember talking or hearing about him or her, and I can uh, feel comfortable buying your book. So some of the benefits of media performances are free exposure. If you have someone that says, uh, please pay me to be on my show, it's not necessary. I've, I've done it. <laughs> Some of the first shows that I was on, I thought that's what that's the way it was done. But it's not necessary at all. Most of the show, I'd say 99.9% .9 of the shows will be at no charge to you. On the radio shows, they'll even call you. So it's there's very little expense in doing this. So you can have a lot of a lot of impact and a lot of frequency and a lot of reach with this. I want to familiarize people with you and your book, so when they reach the shelf and they see your book on the on the shelf, they can they'll they'll know that you know, I, I've heard of this person. Tell people where they buy your book, and it's it's good. We're just getting your book on the Barnes and Noble or even on Amazon. It doesn't really sell. Bookstores, as you, as you well know, bookstores don't sell books; they display books. It's your job to do the media work to get the people to go in, see your book, and then pick it up off the shelf. This idea about Creating and maintaining relationships is really important because producers will bounce around a lot, maybe six months or, or a year, and they're off to another station. And if you do a good job, they'll take you along with them in the sense when you contact them at their new station, they'll remember who you are and be much more likely to have you on the show. Multiply your marketing effectiveness. You can use media performances to promote your in-store events or personal performances and vice versa. Creating a promotional frame of mind, that's really important because as you, the more of this that you do, it, it, you get momentum and, and you, first of all, you get better at it and you feel more comfortable and you'll start to really enjoy it and then you get that promotional frame of mind where you get that, you can't wait to do it again. Creating additional opportunities, there are many speaking events that I got just as a the result of people hearing me on the air. So you want to get the more exposure you can get, the better off it is. Stimulating is word of mouth, which is the freest and the most the least expensive and the, the best type of, of advertising and promotion. If you can get people referring your book to others, then they'll go out and buy it. And most of the new books and new authors that I find, whether it's fiction or nonfiction, is a result of someone saying, but I really like this book. This, this author is really good, and I'd go out and buy it. And certainly the ultimate objective is <laughs> sell more books, and that's what we'll do. So let's look at the step one is the preparation. And too many people will see one show. I mean, they'll, they'll do one show and say, well, I didn't sell any books. What's the matter? This system doesn't work. 
Well, it's, it's, it's building a foundation. You have to use a lot of different shows. And so the preparation is building this foundation of coming up with new ways or, or additional ways to stimulate or generate that buzz. And you have to do that one brick at a time, one show at a time.